Hey, welcome back to the office. Patrick Safer here with Digitize Designs. And today we're really excited because today is new scanner day. We've got the newest hardware offering from ScanTech here, the SimScan 30. We're gonna take a look at uh, what's in the case, do a little bit of an unboxing. Uh, and then I'm gonna get it set up over on the computer. We're gonna take some first scans with it. So this is it right here. First thing I note is the size of this case. Um, compared to the Axe B11's case here, so probably about half the size, I would say. Just these two latches on the front, and this comes open. Got Scantex standard just cables here. This is your standard uh, combination USB power cable. There, the power adapter section of that. Here, uh, typically in the Axe 11 case at least, uh, you've got some inserts here in the middle for your targets and um, your USB case. But in here, they're located in this little pouch under the, the lid. So yeah, we've got two cases of targets, 2006 millimeter and 503 millimeter a piece. And then the uh, USB case. So this has got our thumb drive containing our software installation. And then this is our uh, security dongle for running said software. And lastly, we've got the device itself. It's pretty small. Um, it's the first thing I'd note about it. Uh, in fact, let me grab the Axe B11 to give you a comparison. And see, it's about half the size of the axe, uh, but it looks kind of, kind of a similar layout. We've got Scantec standard um, arrangement of optics on the front, your cameras and projectors and everything. There's a smaller scale on the SIM scan, but should actually prove to be an advantage. This thing should be a lot more agile at getting into tight spaces and uh, seeing into holes a little bit better when scanning. Um, controls layout are really similar, still four buttons, same kind of layout on the back here that with the axe you kind of grip them reach those with your thumb or as the sim scan it looks like you're intended to hit those with your pointer while you're scanning uh, also got this lanyard here on the the sim scan since it's a little bit different grip style this kind of it's a little bit of a pistol grip here this one's more of a, like a monkey handle with this lanyard style it's interesting. I like it. It's got this little a little lip on this plastic overmolded piece to give you something to hold on to, and then this lanyard gives you a little bit of um, holding it into your hand, so you're not having to grip super hard to hold on to it. I'm barely holding on to it. That lanyard's keeping it set pretty well in my hand, so pretty comfortable. Um, only other difference really is the uh, USB power on the back of the axe here. Uh, those are moved to the bottom on the SIM scan right here. So set that off to the side. There should be one last thing here in this case, uh, the calibration board. So that's under this foam insert. Um, looks like you could pull it out of here, but honestly, this will probably be the easiest way to use it. We'll just pull this foam insert out, uh, set it wherever we're going to want to calibrate, and then uh, run through our calibration process like this. And then pack it back up just like that. Uh, so specification wise, this should be similar to the K-Scan Magic and the Axe B11 uh, as far as accuracy. Um, it does like the onboard photogrammetry, which is one reason why it can be so small, uh, but it's faster. It's uh, 2 million points a second data acquisition rate and uh, a lot more affordable than those two models as well. So that's uh, everything that's in the case, it looks like. So I'll get this uh, all hooked up and get our software installed over on our computer. And then I'll meet you back over there in just a minute. And we'll do uh, some first scans with this thing. So we're all set up at the computer. I've got the latest version of Scan Viewer installed. I've got the SIM scan hooked up to power and USB. And I got a few objects here for us to scan. First off is gonna be this transmission housing. So we're gonna scan it at a resolution of a millimeter. Starting off in the default mode for the SIM scan, the 11 blue laser crosses. 
again at a millimeter resolution, though in this mode we're capable of going down to 0 0.1 millimeter. So we're about finished scanning in laser crosses mode. Really quick, I wanted to switch into ultra fine mode and show you uh, how this thing can reach inside of this housing and do some scanning inside of this with how how close you can get in that ultra fine mode. So we've already scanned this, but if there were some fine details back in here you wanted to reach, you're capable of fitting this in here and doing some scanning this close. So we'll run through scan viewers filtering step, spin the raw data around for just a second and then run wrap and then look through the look at the mesh really quick. So again, here's the raw data. Run a quick meshing step. Well, that's going, I'm going to Move this guy to the ground and get the next part set up to scan. So there's our mesh. Next setup, we're going to scan this pocket knife here at a resolution of uh, 0.15 millimeter, so exclusively in ultra fine mode. So this mode's capable of going down all the way to. Uh, 0 0.025 or 25 microns, 0 0.025 millimeter or 25 microns. Same process as the uh, transmission housing. We'll just stop it, let it run through a filtering process. So really quick, I'll just lasso this little bit of noise that popped up. So there's our raw data. We'll also mesh this quickly and then spin that around. So 
So the last thing we'll scan here is this uh, exhaust tip, just to show you how the scanner performs on shiny surfaces. This being about some of the shiniest you can get polished chrome. Starting off with the 11 laser crosses at a resolution of half a millimeter. Filled in all the way around the outside. Finding the right angle, we can get all the way down inside this uh, inner portion of this as well. Looks like we're getting a little noise, but that's expected with something this shiny. I'm happy with that. I'll stop and let it run the standard filtering process. I'll do one iteration of I select disconnected components to get rid of the rest of that noise. So. Usually I do uh, two positions of this. Flip this, uh, scan this like this and flip it over to get the inside, but depending on exactly what your purpose uh, for this would be, you could get away with this one scan since I got so deep there on the inside. That's all I've got for you today. So thanks for uh, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this first look at the SIM scan. Uh, any other uh, questions or anything about the SIM scan or any other 3D scanner? Uh, feel free to reach out to us. But otherwise, just yeah, thanks again for watching. Have a great day.